Hey there, everybody. Welcome on back to the modded Isaac Eden streaks. We're going to hop on in with Eden. We're on our three streak. We're now one run away. We got start Eden sold to start out here. Decent damage, decent rate of fire. Uh, that's the debug console. TUH90YS81 for your seed if you would like to play along. Uh, one more run until we do the dark room instead of the cathedral because that is our... Uh, that is our rule that we made up. Every five runs, we go to the dark room. But this appears to be a pretty good start. Sworn Protector is pretty okay. Uh, if this is Sworn Protector. There's two of them that look the same. I can't remember which one's which, but this guy's pretty good. Uh, he's slow, which makes him easy to use as an orbital. Uh, and I, I like it a lot, to be fair. I'm going to use a bomb right here. Say goodbye to those guys. Spirit Heart. And then we start out with big fans. This is an orbital based run. Uh, not much I can even do about that. You know, when life hands you an orbital, you use your orbital and you move on. Uh, but this is fine. Are we going to min max this first floor? I'm not positive there's a whole lot to min max. I mean, we have some bombs that we can use uh, to open some secret rooms. Might be a good idea. I'm losing a little bit of HP here. We should not be playing so stupid, Tyler. Just uh, play smart. Super Secret Rim's probably right here. It is. Uh, it contains... Oh, I don't like you. Because you make me want to play you. And realistically, that's a really bad idea for me to play you. This is our secret room. Wow, it's not the secret room. I've been bamboozled. Okay. I mean, oh, stop hitting me my friend we're playing bad to start here this is a poor start shape it up bought a cup just to let me down toss you around and just play smart for the second floor we need to maximize hp on this second floor now uh now in the end we really only lost a half heart in terms of uh net hp from the start of the run but we should have 4 HP right now, which would then allow us to take a Devil Deal. Uh, and currently, we can't take a Devil Deal unless that Devil Deal uh, allows us... Oh, uh, unless that Devil Deal allows us to get an item that gives back HP, is the word that tried to come out of my mouth. And it just didn't want to. So in the end, I kind of just said, screw it, we'll just, when he feels okay to come out and say that word, uh, then he can come out and say that word. We're going to have our charge for Eden's soul all wrapped up here. What's the plan to do with that? We pop in in our devil deal, dude. That That is 100% the, uh, the best thing we can do, as I believe that will give us two devil deal items. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, and life will go on. I also think we're maybe one item away from getting the seraphim transformation which is a little bit odd we, we never get the seraphim transformation you're telling me that wasn't the secret room this is just screaming secret room on all fronts here but that's okay it really does look like the secret room should have been there but i will uh i will bank on me not knowing what i'm doing uh and the secret room being somewhere else we're playing better on this floor. I don't... I, I've been potatoing Isaac, you know, ever since the stream where I lost on stream. I feel... I feel like I'm doubting my Isaac skills a little bit. Because, like, we were on the 12 streak. I decided to be an idiot, and we lost it. Then I streamed to get it back, trying to kind of do a proven the point of I'm still pretty good at this game. And then we lost on stream. It doesn't feel good to lose, and I'm, I can sense that I'm reverting to some old habits in the game uh, of trying to do things that I should not even attempt to do and stuff along those lines. That's just not intelligent. You can carry two cards, runes, or pills. Drops a random card, rune, or pill. It's polydactyl. That did not look like polydactyl, though. Uh, come in here. Oh, boy. Uh, wow. Wow. Start with this. We didn't pick up HP. So that will kill me. But boy, is that disappointing. Because I would have loved them. That's... That's what I call suck. 
right there. That just sucks. <laughs> that just sucks because if we didn't potato the first floor, we'd be sitting here with uh, pretty decent damage in the way of uh, Horror Babylon. But what are you going to do? Uh, it's a sucky situation. We got to make the most out of it. I want a challenging run. I, I know that sounds, you know, counterproductive towards being on a streak. I want a run that's going to make me think, that makes me uh, feel challenged, that makes me, oh, you saved me, uh, that makes me, you know, want to, this is good, this is very good, I'm going to teleport, oh, I shouldn't have teleported though, I'm an idiot, because if we get a devil deal, I still can't take one, freaking dumbass, I should have waited, see, these are the mistakes that I'm making in Isaac, I feel bad about them. And you guys say this kind of stuff in the comments as well. You know, you know that I'm making uh, mistakes. And we're not going to get an HP up, obviously, out of this fight because of uh, it being little Chad. We did not get a deal, though. So in the end, this kind of works out okay. But that's still a mistake. Uh, even if it doesn't cost us anything, a mistake is a mistake. It's like if you tell a white lie to your parents and 20 years later, they still didn't find out about your white lie. And it was something along the lines of like, oh, I, when I said that I would fill the dishwasher, really I didn't, and the dog did instead. You know, because the dog now has opposable thumbs, apparently. Uh, does it really matter? No, but you still lied, and you still made a mistake. You know, our mistakes matter here. Even if they don't actually uh, change the outcome of the run. Because they create bad habits, and that, that's kind of what I'm talking about here, is we don't want to create these bad habits. We want to we want to have runs now where we just annihilate everything. You know, I want to be so damn powerful, and I don't. it's not even that I want to be powerful. I want to, like, emotionally be powerful while playing. I want to tell the game, screw you, throw whatever you want at me, I'm going to win this run no matter what kind of run. That's the kind of run I want. You know, I don't really want any more powerful items. You're giving me a ton of powerful items while I appreciate it, and it makes my life easy. I don't need them. I need you to just let me fight this one out. Fist to fist. Isaac against the world. I mean, Eden against the world. And just see what we can uh, accomplish on this run. Now, granted, the run is pretty, pretty good. You know, Guppy's head plus uh, attack point five. As soon as we finally get our HP upgrade, which will inevitably happen, uh, we'll end up with a nice tier up from that because of Dark Prince's crown. Uh, and inevitably, we're going to get a Devil Deal or Angel Deal that will provide us benefit as well. So there's all this jabber that I'm talking about. Uh, it's kind of worthless, but it still matters. Isaac Lives Matter. <laughs> My new campaign slogan. Tyler for President 2020. Speaking of President... Kanye and uh, Donald Trump having a, having a tweet, tweet, tweet with each other, uh, and not a tweet war. They're they're tweeting at each other, loving praises. It's very strange, everybody. Uh, look, I, I do I like Kanye's music? No. Do I think that he's a good human being? I don't have anything against Kanye, and I don't want to make my political uh, standards clear here. But what Kanye said is completely true. Uh, you should not just irrationally hate something or somebody or some I don't know how we didn't get hit right there thank god we have 700 orbitals but uh you should not irrationally hate someone or something just because of political beliefs or personal beliefs about something or anything else you know you, you should treat that person people are allowed to have views about stuff this is the nature of uh I mean at least the United States I know I have a lot of foreign viewers as well at least foreign to me you guys aren't exactly foreign in your own countries but you're allowed to have your own opinion on stuff and you got to respect other people's opinion about that stuff uh, unless you're talking about sandwiches and then obviously i will go on a absolute rant with you uh about why you're wrong in every certain way about a certain uh dish being called a sandwich or not called a sandwich but kanye's right and i hate that he's right uh because i shouldn't we should not have to take our advice in life from Kanye West. But then the tweet, you know, you have where he's saying all this stuff. And then it goes that him and Trump share dragon power. And I'm like, okay, well, congratulations. Everything you just said went right out the freaking window. What the hell does we have dragon power together mean? 
D did he just Kanye evolved into some anime stuff for a second there? I'm waiting for Trump to make a statement where he's like, all human beings will have dragon power. The hell does it mean, dude? Can we get a new booster pack item that's dragon power? And every time you pick it up, like a three second clip of uh, Donald Trump going, this, bo this booster is going to be huge. That was a bad Donald Trump. This booster is going to be huge. You don't even you don't even know. My hands are so large, I cannot even handle this booster. It is so huge. That plays every time uh, you pick up this item, Dragon Power. That's what I want, dude. If somebody wants to make this mod, I will 100% throw money at your face to make that a thing, and we'll add that mod to this uh, series. Okay. Uh, please, Gertie. You're easy, Gertie. All we have to really do is stand here, uh, and you're just going to die essentially we could pop strength but i'd rather save strength for a possible devil deal right here uh that's why we've been holding on to it that way we can steal an item from there we haven't actually picked up any hp in two whole floors which is ridiculous uh three whole floors actually now that i look at it and this is an hp up and we get a cup which is the eucharist you know what sure Give me the Eucharist. Make it where we have a 100% chance of an angel deal uh, for the rest of the run. It's going to give us four more angel deals. Chance of one of them containing a item like Godhead, Sacred Heart, uh, or a modded one that's really good is pretty high, uh, to be fair. So I will... We'll hope for the best. We've been hit. Hold all lines of defense. We've been hit. Uh, but we'll be okay. This run is still on thin ice. You know, if I were a glass... I would be like teetering over the edge of the table, ready to fall off and shatter into a billion pieces. But we also have the ability to just like reach over our hand and stop that thing from falling off the table. I'll humor you. Why not, man? Why not? Uh, pop Tangman so that we don't have to worry about Le Creep. Uh, do Le Creep. Ah, do Le Creep. Ah. Damage and speed for the current room. I don't really think we care about that. Out there. Uh, HP, dude. In the end, this is 100% worth it solely because of that. Uh, we're getting the benefit now from Dark Prince's crown. Because we picked up our... You're finally done. Okay. Because uh, we picked up our half red heart. And this is good, to be fair. Uh, it it's beneficial, this room... Can suck on my butt. Where is safe? Literally freaking nowhere, dude. Like right here is safe. Right here is safe. Nah. You know what? That was good effort, though. <laughs> That was good effort. There's an eternal heart right there. We don't really want it, though. I know I've been complaining about HP, but we want to stay at one heart right now uh, because of Dark Prince's crap. The, the, I don't like Dark Prince's crown, but we got it for free, so there's no reason not to have picked it up. You know, if we can get a tears up benefit from it, our tier stat is not amazing on this run, so to get a benefit from it is useful. So we'll do what we can to not pick up HP. You are a very fast chub. It's the worst kind of chub, to be fair. A chub, a quick chub. A quickie. That's what we're going to call this guy. He's a quickie. Okay. Hello. You're dead as a doorknob. You're dropping me a half a red heart. Sorry, but I don't care. Runes. Hagalaz. Mm-hmm. That was delicious. Uh, we will be taking the black rune. I understand that killed our HP, but this is with the hope of getting a item that we can, or two items, dare I say, uh, that we can black rune to get some, hopefully, damage and tears ups. I'm okay. If you want to give me this being a high rate of fire run where we don't necessarily have amazing uh damage but we have a high rate of fire sign me up dude i'm all down for uh oh hello 
I mean, we really need a speed up. But I also, I really need this tears up. To be fair, if there was a room that we should have popped Black Rune in, that might have been it. <laughs> Getting two free items there uh, that are both, you know, good items, but not necessarily what we need on this run. It might have benefited us more to do uh, Black Rune. But we made our choice, and now we have to accept that. Turns all pickups into keys. We don't care. Honestly, uh, mom's thingy would be okay, but it's too late now because I got rid of it. Car battery is really good, though. So we will do that. Here's our item room, which tells me I have no freaking clue where our boss fight is because I was relatively certain it would be this way. And when I told you my boss room was gonna be this way, we need an Isaac Friends intro. Can somebody pull that off? Uh, you know what? Black Rune. We got a damage up. Look at that. In the end, totally worth it. 100%. Now continue on. Uh, one penny gives us car battery, which in turn gives us double the amount of flies every room. That's insanely huge uh, and would be very good for us to have. So I will spend a large majority of my time attempting to make that happen. There is a man in here. He's right here. Hello, my sweet prince. Welcome to hell. We're guaranteed to get an angel deal on this floor. Boy, would it feel good to get... Oh, you can one-shot me right now. Boy, would it feel good to get ourselves a... Item like Sacred Heart or Godhead. I'm not expecting it, but if you gave it to me, I would not complain. HP is quite low on the off chance that we, uh... Oh, dude. What a crappy fight for us to be in right now. If push comes to shove, we just utilize our strength card. Get a little bit of extra HP. Uh, this is where Tech Point 5 is our best friend. You're my best friend. That I've ever had. But da -da 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 I'm looking for. Honestly, I'm feeling like growth hormones popping out of this boss fight. I have no idea why. It's going to be growth hormones and then one of the body, soul, or mind out of the uh, angel deal. Okay, it's a tears up and it is Godhead. Well, I think that one's a pretty straightforward choice. Uh. Yeah, Godhead's pretty good. Not gonna say I told you so, but I told you so. Uh, this run is not one, though. I want to emphasize that. Uh, Godhead's a good item. It's not a game winner. It is solely a game uh, game helper. I would have really felt good if I found that uh, Tinted Rock before this boss fight. Any run that gives you Godhead is usually going to be a halfway decent run. You know, I'm not going to sit there and deny that. Our shop is over here. But, uh, it's still not a win. There's so many bad things that can occur here that can make me cry. Uh, and all of them revolve me just potatoing my life away. Like, the sad, sorry human being I am. So, we'll make the best out of it. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times, but mostly it was, uh, it was the Godhead times. I haven't had Godhead in months. <laughs> so this feels pretty good, all things considered. Should we fight the angel? You know what? Humor me. I will fight the angel. Because you people are going to be mad at me if I don't, to be fair. We might as well fight it, get the key pieces. Uh, if we fight Mega Satan, we fight Mega Satan, and I probably will, uh, if given the opportunity to. So we'll head on down to the other side. And life will be peachy, happy, hunky-dory. Necropolis. Boss rush is borderline not going to happen. Because I don't think we get through this uh, floor in the next, like, several minutes here. But it could. If we, if we get there quickly, we can make this happen. Uh, do I want to fight boss rush? No. Not unless I have a uh, teleport card. You know, I suppose, do I want to fight Boss Rush? 
No, I don't want to fight boss rush. I would like to go in the boss rush. This is an odd one. Uh, I actually think that that's going to be bad for us. We have good rate of fire and good damage. Let's not ruin it. Now, this is one of those calculated decisions that you got to make on a run. Uh, is it worth it to take Libra? And I think it would be a massive tears down. So, I think we will take a rain check on it. There was a teleport card outside of this room. So, we have one main goal now. And that is to absolutely bum rush it to our boss. Uh, because we can get the hell out of boss rush. Faux free. And there's a lot of good items that could be chilling in that room for us to take. Uh, for some reason, like, sinus infection is sitting in my brain as one that would be god tier for us right now. Not godhead tier, we already got that, but... We're also just kind of annihilating rooms. I need HP. Give me an angel deal that contains the soul. That would be a great, uh, angel deal for us. Just a little bit of HP plus a little bit of defense. You know, we're, we're good on the offensive front right now on this run. It's the defensive front that we need a little bit of help on. So I believe that you can help me achieve my uh, wondrous goals. We will make it to boss rush against all odds. Uh, Hagalaz, just pop it. A little bit useless. Uh, we will make it to boss rush. This is great. We fight mom. Uh, and then hopefully the run is fairly smooth sailing from here. Although the womb can still ruin a man's life. Now, a good boss rush item, good angel deal item is what we need. Thank you for all the lag. I have no idea why all of a sudden the lag is back in this series. I don't appreciate it. This is one where I do not bother fighting La Angel. It might be worth it to kill ourselves and come back as Lazarus, all things considered. Okay, that's Monstro 2 egg thing. All stats down, chance to turn tier into explosive carrot rockets that leave tears behind. You want me to take this. All stats down. But probably pretty powerful. It's like a massive stats down, dude. Alright. Uh, do we want shielded tears? Maybe. Sure. Shielded tears are not all that bad. And we'll go this way. Uh... They look dope right now, so that, that's one benefit. I don't think you kill yourself. Oh, you know what, dude? This is the best time to use Libra now. We had an all stats down. Which means that Libra will just make an all stats down again. I don't know. It, we're just going to take Libra. I'm not a little baby. Yeah, it was an absolutely a tears and damage down. We are firing carrot rockets. Yeah, they're, they're a little bit strange, all things considered. We, we managed to screw ourselves on this run over the uh, course of the past minute and a half. Which I can't say I'm happy about. We, we should look in here. Eh, no. We should look in here. Guppy, 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 guppy. Wow, what an absolutely god-awful uh, secret room. Curse room, whatever the hell it is. Give me the charge. I mean... I'd love to say this run is good. I want really badly to be like, yeah, this run is great. This run's not that great. It's a subpar run that looks really good because we have Godhead. The damage is not all that incredible. Without Godhead, the damage is literally pitiful. Uh, because the aura is doing the most of our damage. 4.92 going down to the womb is not where you want your damage stat to be. Uh, at all. Like, literally at all, I have to adjust myself in my damn chair. Persian like a bird again. We'll continue on here. Uh, we got an all stats up on this floor. I don't understand why, but I'll accept it. What are we looking for in terms of items? I mean... <laughs> ready for the obvious one? Soy milk would be great. But we're not going to get soy milk. Uh, unless we're going to the hush fight, which frankly... Kind of screw hush. I have zero interest whatsoever to go to the damn hush fight. I feel like that's an excellent way for us to just completely ruin our run. So, what other, like, devil deal or angel deal item would be good for us? I mean, holy light would provide us the damage boost we need to get through the run. Uh, obviously, sacred heart. Honestly, sacred heart might be a damage. It'd still be a small damage up because of the multiplier. 
but the shot speed down would be a sh like uh, all stats down so i'm not positive sacred hearts even gonna be all that good for us if we were to get it uh i still think that i mean there's not a lot of stat upgrades in the angel rooms which is the problem we're looking for things that give a lot of stats to one category you know a trinket like tapeworm or something would be pretty good for us you know give us the massive amount of range uh to then spread out evenly across our stats it's very very strange little things that we uh really want here so we'll figure it out we got a skull x fight yeah it is a skull x fight Luckily, this fight becomes relatively easy when you have a massive array of flies doing a stupid amount of damage. I could also go for an item like the Halo right now. Any syringe? Yeah, any syringe is fine. I mean, that's an all stats up, uh, again. Circle of protection, we don't care about. I mean, we take it, but we don't care about it. I'll keep the moon as a teleport in case things get gnarly on one of these floors. A little bit nasty and bad. It's surprising how much of a upgrade speedball was for our damage. Libra acts in mysterious ways, uh, chat. I'd love to do an in-depth Libra video, but frankly, I'm not positive. There's even a whole hell of a lot of information on how exactly Libra works. You know, obviously it balances out your stats, but how does it choose what to balance? How does it choose uh, this, that, and the other? I got no idea. There's no documentation on it. I've, I've looked it up, and unless I'm about to go, like, super duper data mine the game's code, which is in some ways illegal on some fronts, I'm not really looking to do that, so it's going to be difficult to do that. But I would love to know the ins and outs of Libra. Because it is such a damn weird item good item sometimes sometimes detrimentally horrible item but can be very good and thus intriguing for us and on this run it worked out fine uh and frankly if this is a full run reroll i would not necessarily mind it it's not god cricket's head would have been awesome too but that's okay i'll just take all my money and run we got a luck upgrade as well kind of useless for us on this run we have nothing really luck related on this run small rock would be another one that would be good although the very tiny speed down from it would you know affect all of our stats but then the tears and damage up from it would not so i suppose it would be good like you never know how much one little thing is going to affect uh each one what an absolutely horrible play that's just like a disappointing failure right there we're not out of the woods yet. I, I keep on saying it because I want to tell myself that Tyler don't think that this run is won just because you have uh, Godhead and some shielded tears. It's still not that great of a run and we, we can still botch this horribly. This room has always and will always suck major butt. So I'm glad that it didn't decide to completely kill me here. Hello. Eh, okay. Here's the deal. Hush fight. We have a lot of money. Many people would say, Tyler, it is worth it to go to the hush fight. I say, Peshaw. It is stupid to go to the hush fight. I'm not going to ask how. I'm just going to accept that that was a thing. Screw that room, by the way. Uh, anybody that actually appreciates that room existing in the game, you are an enemy to me. Because in a lot of ways, that room is just guaranteed damage uh, and sucks the big one. There's a crawl space in this room. Which is good. I mean, a crawl space is always fun. Give me an insanely high uh, stat upgrade. There's not even an item in here. A little bit disappointing. Batteries... Oh, batteries, where'd you go? I want a ton of flies. Da -da -da, da -da -da. We only have a heart and a half. 
Batteries. Okay, this will be our last angel deal, uh, barring a... Oh, we've been hit. Barring a uh, Joker card appearing on the next floor. We're not doing Hush. I, I have to keep reminding myself that. We're not doing Hush because it's literally detrimentally horrible to our run. We will die down there, and I will look like an idiot for killing the streak by going to Hush. This run has definitely been just an absolutely sketchy one. And screw the lag, dude. I don't know why this mod pack lags all of a sudden. What is this very strange room? I don't appreciate your weirdness. <laughs> I'm out of here. Go up to the cathedral. We're not going to Hush. Keep telling yourself it, Tyler. It's officially impossible for us to go to Hush, so do not go to Hush. Teleport to here. You're useless to me. You're cute, but you're useless. Johnny Travolta, 1978. Probably like, Tyler, what movie is that from? I made up a quote. So that's difficult to determine where that uh, movie quote is from that I just made up. It's from John Travolta's uh, Summer Paradise porno. Okay. What do you got for me? A tinted rock, which could give me small rock. It didn't, but it could have. I'm going to do this. I had a dream. The gods is good, though. Uh, I had a dream that it would pop out, and the black heart. That it would pop out uh, Cricket's head and Small Rock from this room. That dream quickly faded. But we did get, like, just the easiest room of our lives. Uh, that increased our HP, like, almost double. So, the run is officially in a state where I can say we have probably won. Uh, nothing has really changed from when I was confident that we were going to lose. Besides that we picked up some HP. Now that I have a nest egg of HP, I'm like, yeah, I can hold this one uh, on so we win. I would still love it if we could just get, like, one more little tiny useful thing from our uh, chest here. But once again, my hopes are high. My blood's run uh, cold. My memory has just been sold. My angel is the centerfold. Angel is the centerfold. Good night, Isaac. It's been a good run. I mean, it's been an interesting run. Not often do you get Godhead and still think you're going to lose. Uh, but that was me on this run. I feel like we're still playing a little bit like trash. And boy, do we have to sharpen up uh, if we're going to continue this streak into uh, double digits or even triple digits. I say that as we're sitting on a three streak, but, uh, okay. We will do all of this. Th I don't know what this is. Planetoids. It's definitely a little bit odd of an item. And we will take the Wiz for sure. Uh, we're not going to go to Mega Satan quite yet. I want to clear a couple of rooms, get ourselves a couple of items. Our luck is not incredible, but it is... Good enough to get a chest here, there, everywhere. Mom's eye is really the big, uh, mom's contact is really the big gain from this chest. Because being able to freeze enemies is a great, I mean, mom's contact is one of the best items in the game, in my opinion. It's one of the top, uh, tier synergies. It's one of the best non-stat upgrade items in the game. I think that's a better way of saying that. You'll never am I like, I don't want mom's contact on a run. It's always useful. Also, Papula Duplex, surprisingly useful because it made our Godhead aura bigger. So we're finding all kinds of awesome little synergies. Uh, the fact that we will be fighting Mega Satan with four damage on a run that is insanely powerful, it feels good. Because it shows that we, I mean, it's mainly Godhead, but it shows that we did something funky on this run. And I'm always down for funky runs. Bananit, whilst you take me to Bananit, funky run. No chest. I think this is maybe where we say uh, it's time to go. We have the strength card. I think it's time to go. Uh, and plus, we can maybe pull off a sub 30 run, which would be. Uh, all kinds of whack. I don't think we can beat Mega Satan in 20 seconds, but it would be quite interesting to do so. 
and we do have an extra life as well just in case literally everything goes bad here but I expect things to go relatively peacefully as we fight Mega Satan I am gonna have to take a look at the mod pack and figure out why in the world we're lagging like a freaking pro on uh, here it might have literally just been that carrot item that did it but I've been noticing a little bit of lag in the series anyway why we're also getting random uh, chests to spawn is beyond me but that's one that uh, that's one you just don't complain about and you accept that the game gave you book of shadows that essentially just makes this fight uh, even easier in finishing up here I love me godhead plus super envy always delicious to look at I'm proud of us we, we beat a run that uh, had some had some troubles during it and I can't say that we have necessarily done that in a while all the runs that we have had uh, of late have been pretty easy runs all things considered and this one was still uh, at the end very easy but it took a little bit for us to get to this point obviously without Godhead this run is significantly crappier uh, than what it is right now and I suppose that that just tells you uh, that Eucharist was 100% the right option over uh, Spirit Destiny you know and that not being able to take the devil deal resulted in uh, a good run so there's a lot of uh, we can do the ifs buts whens of the run but in the end this if but then tells me that we did something positive uh, and it worked out in our favor mega satan will be dead shortly uh, just please stand hold and we can move on with our day on a four streak next episode we go and we fight el lamo also known as the lamo uh, but that's gonna do it thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy remember to slap that like button we'll be back in the next episode to continue lost streak thanks for watching bye bye